learn about something new. So, are you excited to learn? Then let's get started. So, what our topic is today is factors and factoring, as you can see on the screen. So, what we'll be learning today is factors of a number. Why do we have to learn about factors? Now, how do we find factors of a number? And examples. Well, without any examples, we won't understand that much. Examples help us understand. So that's why we need to see some examples. And then we will also teach you some important facts about factors that you should keep in your mind and conclusion. I mean, I'll give you some worksheets so you'll never forget factors and factoring. Now we'll be learning about a factor of a number. So, a factor of a number is an integer that divides the number exactly. So, for example, as I said earlier, examples help us understand. So, I'm going to be telling an example. So, for example, we have the number 16. And 4 divides 16 equally. So, 4 is a factor. But wait, 2 is also a factor because... 2 divide 16 equally and as an 8. So which factor of these are uh, right? You might have been having this question. Yeah, which question? Which of these are right? The right one is all of them. The uh, Every number has multiple factors, just not one. It has, some has 1, I mean some has 2, some has 3, some has 5, some has 10 and more. So there are multiple uh, factors. But there's one, there are few exceptions, uh, which I'll be telling in the facts. Hey, you must be having a question. Why do we have to learn about factors? Yeah, I'll give you some thinking time. Yes, you got it. You have to learn about factors. For example, you have some candies and you want to share it equally with some of your friends. And you don't know how many friends you have to call. Do you know how many friends you need to call and share your candies equally? You need to know factoring. And as well, factoring is nothing but doing a division test with different integers. And as well, you, in higher grades, you have to simplify Mm, fractions, decimals, and equations. And to s learn how to simplify, you have to know factors. Now we'll be learning how to find a factor of a number. It's a step-by-step -step procedure. As I mentioned earlier before, a factor of a number is an integer that divides the number equally. So the first step is we take the smallest integer which is 1 and do the division test. But what is the division test of a number? We take a number and divide it with integers. If there is a reminder more than 0 which is like 1 or 2 or 3 then the, num the integer fails the test and is not a factor. But if there is no reminder then the number uh, passes the test and is a factor. So we do like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But wait, you might be having a question. How long do we have to do this? Do we have to do, to, uh, do all of the number or three quarters of the number? No, we have to do half of the number. But you might be having another question. Why only half? One and three quarters. Why not full? One and one quarter. Why only half? Because the smallest integer is one. And the quotient will be 16. Then the two, if the two is a factor of the number, the quotient will be half of the number. And three or four, it will be less than half. Mean 
very small. So, so that's why we have to do only till half. I hope you understand with this. And as I mentioned earlier as well, examples always help us understand better. So I'll be showing you an example. So let's take, for example, the number 16. So we start with 1. So 16 divided by 1 equals 16. So yes, 1 passes the test and is a part. Now the second integer, 16 divided by 2, 8, yes, 2 is a factor. 16 divided by 3, no, it won't be because it will equal to 15 means reminder 1, so it's eh, 16 divided by 4, equal to 4, so yes, 4 is a factor. 16 divided by 5, no, equal to 15, so it's eh, 16 divided by 6, there will be the reminder of 4. So it's uh, 16 divided by 7. No, there will be a reminder of 2. So it's uh, we now we are on the 8th one. Means the last one we will be doing. So 16 to we actually not the last. It's the second last. 16 divided by 8. It will be 2. So yes, it's a factor. Now you got 4 factors. Wait. There's actually one more factor. The number itself. Because 16 divided by 16 equals 1. No reminder. So 16 is a factor of 16. So actually, numbers can have um, factors. More like some can have 2 factors. Some can have 5 factors. Some can have 10. Some can have a lot. And... Some have minimum two. And factors always are there or keep on going. As now we have learned the step by step procedure, let's do a little recap so that you remember this step by step procedure in your mind forever. So, first, what we do is Use some integers and use them in the division test. But the numbers we use is from the smallest integer 1 till half. So, uh, we will see the integers which have no reminder. And if they have no reminder, they pass the test. And are the f and is a factor of the number. And the numbers which have a reminder, they will fail the test and will not be factor. So, um, let's take another example. The number 18. So, let's start with 1. 18 divided by 1? Yes, 18. So, 1 is a factor. 2. 18 divided by 2? 9. So, 2 is a factor. 18 divided by 3? 6. So, 3 is a factor. 18 divided by 4? 4 times 4 equals 16, 2 reminder. So it's a. Uh, and then 18 divided by 5. 5, five times 3 equals 15. 15, there's a reminder of 3, so it's. Uh, 6, yes. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. So it's, it's a, it is a factor. So 18 divided by 7. It's a uh, 18 divided by 8 is a uh, 18 divided by 9. This is the half of 18. So this is the last one we'll be testing out. Actually, second last, not the first last. It's, of course, 18 divided by 9 equal to 2. So 9 is a factor. And uh, I hope you did not remember, forget this thing, it, that the number itself is a factor. So 18 is a fact. As now we have learned about what is a factor, why we have to learn about factors, and how to find a factor of a number. Now I'll be telling you some cool and fascinating facts about factors. Fact number one. 
every number has a minimum of two factors. The factors are one and the number itself. But this rule doesn't apply to one. One only has one because one and one itself. So it's only one. One only has one factor, which is one. Fact number two. Every even number has about three factors. The one, two, and the number itself. But this doesn't apply to two. It only has one and two. I mean two factors. And odd numbers only have about minimum two factors. One and the number itself. But this doesn't apply to one, which is an odd number. It only has one factor, one itself. And now I have some worksheets for you. I have about two worksheets. Work practice makes perfect. So don't forget to do the worksheets. So they're all about factoring. So question number one: find well, find one factor except one and the number itself, because we don't want you to just keep one. It'll be just super easy to do that. Then two. Please answer yes or no for the questions below. I mean, is to a factor to 15 and find and please find all the factors for the below numbers. And as well, if you have any questions, just type in the comment box. I'll do my best to answer them. And if you have any suggestions, yeah, just type in the comment box. And I'll use them for my next video or next class. I hope you enjoyed my class.